In this video tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to take these flowers and put them inside this bunny to create an interesting project to where you can go ahead and cut it out and it'll all be united. First of all, I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project here in Xtool Creative Space. I'm going to need to get some files, so I'm going to go to the image and I have an SVG that says for Easter Bunny. Hit open. And here is where I have my Easter Bunny. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that there. The other image that I'm going to need to get is a bitmap or a bitmap type image. And I have that as flowers. And you can see we have these two. Now it's very important in this tutorial technique to have this image that you're wanting to use for the cutouts and things inside uh, a bitmap type image. And I'll show you why here in a sec. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. I'm going to change the size of my rabbit. And let's see, height. Let's go ahead and do this as 10 inches. It's a good height to work with. Okay, the first thing I need to do is I need to create an outline. So I'm going to create an offset. And in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a, a 0.25 offset. And we're going to go to our uh, layers and list. And we're just going to distinguish which one's which. So we have our outer outer bunny. Or no, that's our inner. So that's the vector. Oops. Let's go here. This is our vector. We'll do inner bunny. And then, of course, we have our outer bunny. And then we have our image in between. Okay. So the next step that we're going to have is we're going to take and select our inner bunny. And we're hit. Uh, I like to go ahead and copy it. So I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to Mac Command C. Just so I have that on my cl clipboard. And I'm just going to move my image underneath my inner bunny. And then. While that's selected, the image of the flowers, I'm going to go ahead and select the inner bunny. And then I can do this in two ways. I can hit uh, the right mouse button. I can do create mask, or I can just come up to here, this little icon where it says create mask. And you can see the light objects on the outside, or in this case, the light um, flowers on the outside of the bunny are what's going to be clipped off and then the dark is what's going to be on the inside. So I'm going to hit done and you can see that that created that clipping mask. The next step that I'll want to do is I want to take this bitmap image that we just clipped and I want to trace that. So what it's going to do is it's going to take all the black and whites and just trace that image. So I'm going to hit trace and we can go ahead and just leave these here the way they are and do layering by color um, i just left it the way it is and then i'm going to go to my group and you can see here we have the compound portion and that's our cut part that we want to keep And we want to get rid of the image itself. Okay. So we're going to take the image. We're just going to go ahead and turn that off for now. Actually, we can even just delete that if we want to because we won't need it anymore. And then we go ahead and so we have the outer bunny still. And what we'll end up doing is we're going to paste our inner bunny that we had before. And this is where it gets kind of tricky. Um, Xtool Creative Space doesn't really do a good job in making the centering of, of that 
process easy. So the next step is I want to make sure that I, for simplicity, get some line color so I know what I'm working with. Actually, I need the outer bunny to be selected. I need to change that to red. And the inner bunny, I need to change that to, we'll do purple. So that way I know what I'm working with. And then my group, which is all the flowers, I'm going to change that to a blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and select the flowers. And then as well as the inner bunny. And then I will come to the subtract. And you can see here we have our image where it is all subtracted and uh, connected and everything. Now the next step is we can change the parameters. So let's say I wanted to score this. I can do that. I have a uh, setting that's already preset for scoring. And then of course, if I wanted to you know, do my red, which I can go down here to my red and I can do change that to my cut, which I already have a preset for cut. So as you can see, this is, you know, type of the process, the basic process. I would definitely go in and do some cleanup, you know, on this uh, portion here, clean up all these nodes. You're going to want to go through and like simplify, you know, you can do some auto simplifying, hit confirm. But that is the basics. That's kind of, kind of unique there, but that's the basics of what you are looking for. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me and we can uh, definitely work through uh, a solution to the problem. So my name is Nicholas and it's great to meet you and I'm glad that um, we can get this figured out for you. Hope you have a great day.